So I just wrapped up my full length tutorial video on how to create a blog and email newsletter website using ghost.org. And like I always say, it's one of my favorite blogging and email marketing platforms. Is it perfect? No, and it does have some big annoyances that I do think you need to be aware of. So in this video, I'm gonna cover the pros and the cons of using this platform. So I'm gonna begin with the pros, the advantages, why you'd wanna be using ghost.org, as well as some big limitations that you do need to be aware of. So let's begin. The first pro of using ghost.org is that you're able to build a beautiful, high converting website. Now the whole point of ghost.org and why I love it so much is that it's very, very aggressive at getting people to sign up to your email list. With the ghost.org website, you typically you'll have like a nice big offer section where people can sign up. You'll have a button in the menu navigation area where people can sign up. You'll also have like a little portal button towards like the corner right of your website that people can kind of click on and then a light box appears. And then of course you can have like recommendation links that you can share via social media that direct people to a light box where they can again, sign up. In addition to how aggressive it is towards getting people to subscribe to your email list via a beautiful high converting design. It also just looks great on a mobile device. It looks great on your desktop. It's a very nice professional overall user experience for the end visitor. So while other platforms like Substack have a bit of a cookie cutter design, with ghost.org you can actually have a custom design to represent your brand and just provide a very good overall user experience via your email list with custom design emails that look fantastic, a website that looks fantastic. Overall, this is a big thing that I love about ghost.org is that you can just have a very beautiful custom design, professional looking website. Unlimited email marketing. So this is another big advantage of ghost.org that I really love. You can email your list as many times as you want. If you want to send out an email every single day, you can totally do that. If you want to send out an email twice a week, three times a week, whatever, you can do whatever you want. With ghost.org, you're paying for email subscribers. That's how the plans are based, based on how many members you have. Members meaning your email list subscribers. So there's no like weird limitations imposed upon you where you can only like send out say 2000 emails a month, whatever. Email marketing is unlimited with your ghost.org accounts. And on top of that, the emails actually hit the inbox for people who are subscribed to your email list, which is the most important thing when it comes to email marketing. My current open rate is usually like 40 to 50% or so which makes my email marketing efforts quite effective. Unlimited traffic. So you can get unlimited traffic to your ghost.org powered websites and you're not gonna be forced to upgrade your account because again, the account pricing plans are based on email subscribers or based on members. So if you're on the lowest tier plan, which is a thousand members or a thousand email subscribers, until you start getting over that amount, then you'll have to upgrade your plan. But you can totally build a website, a blog, whatever, that's getting like 50,000 visitors a month, like a thousand visitors a day, whatever, you're not gonna be forced to upgrade your account because your website is taking up like a lot of resources and getting a lot of traffic. So yeah, I've heard the slight complaint from people saying like, well, why would I go with ghost.org when I can go with like Hostinger, have a shared hosting account, and I can have like 10 websites on a cheap shared hosting account. But what you're forgetting is that one, you get a beautiful high converting website with ghost.org, you get unlimited email marketing that actually works and you have unlimited traffic because you're paying based on members, based on your account, based on your email list. You're not paying for like traffic. Whereas like with a hosting or with a shared host, like once your website starts getting over like 50,000 visitors a month, your website's gonna be taking up a lot of resources. You may be required to upgrade your account anyways with a shared host. Paid subscriptions. So another great thing with Ghost is that paid subscriptions are just built into the platform. The only thing that you need to do is open a Stripe account, then follow the on-screen process to connect your Stripe account to your ghost.org websites. Simple as that. The whole process is very easy to set up. It looks similar to Substack. And on top of that, you don't even need to offer paid subscriptions. If you just wanna offer a free email list and engage in like affiliate marketing and selling your own products via your list, you can totally do that. It's just nice that you have the opportunity and the option to offer paid subscriptions if you want. And last, any type of subscription can be offered monthly or yearly. It's an excellent blogging platform. So with WordPress, you have blocks. With Ghost, you have cards. But it's functionally the same thing. So cards cards uh, offer additional features that you can add into your blog post. So you can add in like images, video, audio files, add in a divider, have product boxes. You can also create dedicated snippets. So like if you have like a product box or a subscribe box that you made, you can just save it as a snippet to reuse later. 
And my favorite card block, like whatever you want to call it, is this card that allows you to put content inside it that is only viewable in an email client. Because this gives a compelling reason for people to subscribe and stay subscribed to your email list because all the content that's in this block, again, is only viewable in your email client. It's not viewable when you publish the blog post on your website. And to top it all off with this excellent blogging platform is the fact that you can actually create content that ranks and gets organic search traffic. Compared to Substack with its like cookie cutter design, well, Substack is good for like an email list that you wanna send out once a week, etc. but the thing with Substack is that it doesn't rank organically in the same way that a ghost.org website does. That's why I mentioned the unlimited traffic thing is such a big benefit because you can build a high traffic blog with ghost.org. You can have content that ranks and gets organic search traffic that you convert and meaningful way. You can do some old school product review, a listicle, a review, a tutorial, whatever. And you can also just publish this content on your website without emailing it to your list if you want. So again, it's an excellent blogging platform. You can get organic search traffic that you can convert in some meaningful way. And you have a bunch of design elements to add into your blog posts like product boxes, dividers, images, GIFs, etc. You can run display ads on your website. So unlike Substack, which doesn't allow you to run display advertising, with Ghost, it's your website, you can do whatever you want. So if you wanna run Google AdSense on your ghost.org website, you can do so. If you build a high traffic enough website where you can apply for more higher tier ad networks, then again, you can just do so. It's your website, you can do whatever you want. So yes, while platforms like Substack are free, you can actually run ads on your ghost.org website to make money, particularly if you build a high traffic enough websites, which you can do because your website that's powered by ghost.org can rank for various keywords where you get organic search traffic each and every day. And the last big advantage, pro, whatever you want to call it, is the ability to have a custom design or buy a custom theme from the theme marketplace. This is great because you don't have to have a cookie cutter design where your website looks like everybody else's website where you can maybe like customize like the colors and the logos. With Ghost, you can have a totally custom theme that you can upload. You can also buy a very beautiful theme from the theme marketplace. So that's it for the pros of this platform. It's really good, but there are a few cons that you definitely need to be aware of, and they may even be a deal breaker for you using this platform. So let's begin. No email marketing funnels built into this platform. What it is is a broadcast email platform. That means you sit down, you write the blog post, then you choose to publish it and send it to your email list, and that's it, <laughs> that's it. So it's great if you're running like an email newsletter, or you just wanna manually email your list like once a week, twice a week, every day, whatever you wanna do. That's what this platform excels at. And yes, there are some basic automations built in, like people subscribe to your email list and you can direct them to a thank you page. On that thank you page, you can have like a one-time offer for a product or service, something like that. But beyond that, no, it's a broadcast email platform. So if you need some type of complicated email marketing funnel where you have like a lead magnet and then they get this email and then that email, then this email, and then if they click this thing and this email, then they get that email with like an if and function and so forth. Well, you're not gonna get that with ghost.org. Manual email list management. This one drives me crazy. So let me ask you a question. When someone unsubscribes from your list, what do you think happens? They're removed from your list, right? Well, no, not with ghost.org. They're just marked as unsubscribe. That means you need to navigate to your members area. You need to filter by unsubscribes, and then you need to manually remove everyone who's unsubscribed from your email list. It's manual, it's time consuming, and it could take a lot of time if your email list is growing quite quickly. And the downside is that you can be pushed up to a higher tier and you're paying for a higher tier and maybe like you have 20% of your list that is marked as unsubscribe. So again, it's just this whole manual process that I don't like. And you also have to manually do this as well for people who are just not opening your emails. Like maybe you'll have like a member and their open rate is like 10% or even 0%. Like people subscribe and then just never open their email. Yes, that happens. With Ghost, there's no quick and easy way to do it. You have to navigate to the members area, then filter, filter by unsubscribes, filter by like open rate of like 0% or 10% or something like that, and then manually remove people. I also don't like that there's no like recovery email sequence that you can send out where you can just automatically send out an email being like, hey, do you still wanna get emails from me? Yes or no. If you just click, don't click this button, then you're gonna be automatically removed from the list. The downside with Ghost is that nothing's automatic, it's all manual. One website per account. So I've heard this criticism from some people. Now, personally, I don't agree with this because I think you get a ton of value for the price point. Like you're paying $15 a month, 
Yes, you only get one website. No, it's not like a shared hosting account where you can have like 10 WordPress websites or whatever because all of all the features that are built into the platform, in my opinion, it makes it worth it. Features like unlimited traffic. Again, you could be getting 50,000 visitors a month to your website and you're not gonna be forced to upgrade your accounts. Email marketing built in that actually works. A beautiful high converting website and the ability to offer paid subscriptions to your audience. So while I do understand this criticism because you're comparing it to a shared hosting account, for all the features and benefits that are built in, I think it's well worth the $15 if you're taking full advantage of everything that Ghost.org has to offer. Setting up 301 redirects are a little bit clunky with ghosts on the back end. So you have to navigate down to your labs then download a file, then edit and adjust it, then upload the file. It's not really that big of a deal, but it's not as simple and easy as WordPress and Pretty Links. Now, the reason why you'd want to do this is for like affiliate marketing purposes, primarily so you can set up like mywebsite.com slash recommend slash product service software, whatever that you're recommending. You also want to be using 301 redirects for affiliate marketing purposes because if you're recommending, again, a product or service, whatever, and they change their affiliate marketing platform to a new platform, then you're going to have to update your affiliate links. It's very simple and easy to do that if you're using 301 redirects because you just have this one thing they have to change because if you have like mywebsite.com slash recommend slash product service, whatever, and it's shared in a wide variety of places, like you have a hundred links across the internet to like this like specific thing that you're promoting as an affiliate. Like it's going to be a headache if you have to manually update like a hundred plus links. Well, with 301 redirects, you don't have to do that. Another con, another downside is that custom themes and uploading your own theme is only available at the higher tier. It's not currently available at the lowest price point with ghost.org. So that's a little bit of a drawback, but in my opinion, it's okay because just build your email list, build your site, build your traffic. And then when you get to that point where you're having like thousands of email lists, subscribers, you should be making a decent income, then it makes sense to upgrade your account as needed. And then once you upgrade your account, then you can customize the look and feel of your website even more with a custom theme or a theme from the theme marketplace. And finally, you can't set up subdomains with a ghost.org powered website. So in my opinion, this is pretty like niche specific and I think it's a feature that most people don't really want or would even use in the first place. So a subdomain would be like learn.website.com or directory.website.com, something like that. So maybe you have like a Thinkific account with a bunch of courses and you wanna set up a custom domain name to be again, like learn.website.com. Well, with ghost.org, you can't do that. But the workaround is pretty simple. You would just set a custom domain name for your Thinkific website, then link to your courses manually via your ghost.org website but it could be a little bit of an annoyance for some power users not being able to set up a subdomain. Like for example, I have a niche website on teaching online and teaching abroad. I'm currently setting up a directory. So I really like WordPress on a shared hosting account because I have that flexibility. So with ghost.org, you can't set up subdomains, but in my opinion, it's not really that big of a deal. All right, everyone, that's it for this video on the pros and cons of ghost.org. I'll leave a link in the description to my full length tutorial. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe and hit that like button. My name is David. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.